Morning, Steve here in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Markets were pretty quiet overnight. Then about 4 a.m., beans rallied like 4 to 5 cents. Some people blame that on the fact that there's a drier forecast for Brazil. Uh, it is the main growing season for the Brazil soybean crop and the Argentina corn and soybean crop. And so we now are in a weather market. And so every Monday morning from now on, or next week, Tuesday morning, we will uh, be trading weather in South America. Yesterday there were a lot of rumors in the market. First one uh, came out that uh, Asian buyers were looking for U.S. corn prices. Then there was one that uh, China was looking for U.S. soybean prices. Then we saw something from the Wall Street Journal that the Secretary of Treasury said the U.S. might consider dropping China's tariffs in order to move the negotiations along. The one thing about that is the President of the United States and the U.S. Trade Representative uh, they're the one and two persons as far as making a deal with China. Some people think the Secretary of Treasury does not have a lot of input, uh, but the headline certainly rallied the market yesterday. And then we also had rumors that um, maybe U.S. and China is close to a deal on ag products, $50 billion over the next two years. Products could include soybeans, corn, ethanol, uh, wheat, rice, and maybe pork, and we continue to see the decline in pork numbers because of the African swine fever, making that maybe pork might be the first thing they would buy if we do get a deal. The Vice Premier of China is coming January 30 and 31st. The Lunar New Year starts February 5th. So we hope that at least there might be an ag deal before February 5th. Uh, the main two things that uh, are stumbling blocks is number one, the difference between what we buy from China and what they buy from us. The United States wants that gap narrowed. And number two is the intellectual properties, which I doubt if China will give in on that. Russia said that they will regulate domestic grain prices. Um, not sure exactly what that means, but certainly uh, their domestic wheat prices have rallied as they continue to be strong exporters of a supply that's below average. From a technical standpoint, both uh, nearby March soybeans and March corn is building a flag or a pennant. So you're coming in to the point in which the market should break out either up or down. Uh, March resistance and the beans 922 supports 889. Corn resistance 384 supports 371. So um, the techies believe, given the momentum of the marketplace, and maybe a little bit of contrarian opinion on the fundamentals that we might break out on the upside. And it's my opinion we need something positive on the U.S. and China trade to break out on the upside. Funds yesterday were big buyers of beans, corn. We, right now we show them short about 13,000 beans, 53,000 oil, 9,000 meal, long about 120,000 corn, and short about 8,000 wheat. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.